Hey guys, welcome back to Kenshi. We're playing as Tank Face again today, and today we're heading up north to get some better armor, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I believe the armor vendor is up here in the river. So we're going to start heading that way. One thing I noticed in the last fight, uh, the armor that Tank Face has right now is, is pretty minimal, so we do need to upgrade his gear quite a bit. And there's an armor vendor that's pretty well known to have the top level armor, so we're going to head over there and grab some. This actually might be a good opportunity to get some training in with his main weapon, so let's go ahead and fight these guys. Edgewalker is brutal. Let's see if I can move Tank Face down a little bit so those archers aren't pummeling him so. Those archers keep getting me, so I'm gonna move Tank Face over here. Walker is really effective. So much better than the previous hacker. Alright, we got our hive brethren helping us out by random chance. Taking care of the archers for me. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can uh, trade with them a bit. Maybe uh, get some extra cash here. That's probably good enough for now. Let's take this guy out. There we are. just so we can get some extra strength training, we're going to pick one of these guys up. And he automatically heals them, but that's okay. It's going to train up his uh, medical uh, skills. And now we can run with this body on our shoulder to get some extra strength. So I'm going to stop you there because I do not want to go into vein. Let's go ahead and make sure we go this way. OK, 
Okay, so here's another good opportunity for Tank Face to train with his heavy weapon. Looks like we're doing nearly 100 damage per shot with this Edge Walker. Strength is definitely going up. It's a little bit faster with this heavy weapon. And you can see where this would have been a problem for us before, as now it's just a trivial matter. It's just a training opportunity. Looks like we have a Shek warrior also helping us out a little bit. These guys are down. Some pretty severe injuries. Alright. Let's move on. It's always a little nerve wracking in here because there are big things right on the border. And we don't want to run into them yet especially in packs. Tank face could probably take on one or two, but if there's a pack of five, it's going to be kind of dicey. probably will need to do some running from the Holy Nation once we get up here, so this strength training is going to be pretty important on our way up. Just so that we have enough strength to carry our gear and also to run away from Holy Nation. Once we get our armor, we should be able to take on pretty much anybody in the game. At least the uh, mid-level to lower tier enemies. But until we get that armor, uh, we're still pretty vulnerable, even with our high toughness. Keep an eye out for our holy nation. They do patrol the area. Looks like we are finding some patrols, so we are going to try and avoid them. Maybe just run right through the middle here. Uh, maybe circle around. The paladins have a pretty good sight range.
17 miles per hour is not going to be enough to run away from these guys. see another patrol up ahead. Let's head off over to the right. I think the cover of night is helping us a little bit here with the crossbow turrets not being able to spot us. I don't know that they shoot on sight, but I think if you're not a human Greenlander, uh, there's a chance they might aggro on you. I'm not really sure. Typically avoid this area because of the Holy Nation. Alright, let's head up river. And get some really nice armor. One thing I love about swimming is that the skill um, trains very, very quickly, so we can increase our swim speed pretty dramatically here. Who are these guys? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's hope they don't notice us. Doesn't look like they did. Oh boy. There's quite a few of them swimming down. I've never seen Holy Nation swim before. So this is new for me. Let's go ahead and get as far away from them as possible. Wow, that was a surprise. Did not expect to see Holy Nation swimming in the, the channel here. There's more. Doesn't look like they're going to aggro on me because they can't attack me in the water anyway. I have never seen Holy Nation in the water. That is so weird. These are hungry bandits. I thought they were a holy nation at first. Oh, here's a skeleton. Good thing they're friendly. Or at least they're neutral. Pretty sure this armor salesman has specialist and masterwork armors. So we'll get Tank Face all suited up. And then we'll test out his new combat abilities and his armor. There goes the skeleton. There's two of them. You can see the bubbles from each skeleton walking underwater. There. There's a couple more skeletons. If I slow it down here, you should be able to see them walking. Maybe not. Sometimes you can see them walking underwater if it's shallow enough. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's go see what the armor merchant has. Armor King, Armor King, saving lives with Armor Ing. That's, that's interesting. Welcome customer, would you like to buy the best armor in the world? Yes, please. What do we have? Specialist grade. Masterwork. Dust coat. Don't really need that. 
Darn. I don't see a lot of heavy armor options here, which I was hoping for. But we can go with some samurai armor. It's not absolutely terrible. Ooh, masterwork leg armor. That's probably a good idea. Let's see. We can't wear helmets, and we can't wear shoes or boots. But I think this... Masterwork leg armor is definitely going to help us. And it looks like we're only going to be able to get specialist grade heavy armor. So maybe for now I'm going to go with the mercenary leather armor. It's a bit of a waste if I buy the specialist and the masterwork heavy armor. Let's see. Ooh, we have a masterwork hiver chest plate or chain shirt. It's a little bit more than what we can afford. Uh, I wonder if we can sell some stuff off, like the standard skeleton arm we don't really need right now. So we're definitely going to grab this masterwork uh, chain shirt. Sell the current one. And for now, I think we'll try and get the specialist mercenary leather armor. We'll just sell this arm off. It is pretty lightweight for the protection that's offered, so that's it's not too bad. We'll just do that. So not too happy with the chest plate, but uh, or the uh, leather armor, but uh, we do have a good hybrid chain shirt now, and really good legs. It's going to make us run slightly slower, but not too bad. It offers a lot of protection for the legs. Same thing for the hybrid chest plate or hybrid shirt. Overall, pretty happy with that. And we drop some weight as well. So now let's head east into the desert where we can do some more combat training. Did not mean to shut the door. Here we go. We need to be a little bit careful here because there are Holy Nation patrols. So we'll be keeping an eye out for them. But our armor is pretty good now, so... Probably won't be too much of a challenge if we do get attacked. nearly out of Holy Nation territory. Let's find our first fight and test out the new armor. Oh, Holy Nation, don't want to fight them. Too many. What is this group? 
Ah, rebel farmers and cannibals. Let's try out the armor against the rebel farmers. Pretty effective. Chest armor is not as good, but we can rectify that. Just need to keep an eye out for higher level armor. These guys weren't much of a match. Okay, let's head further into the desert. We'll try and find another fight that's a little bit more evenly matched. And then we'll wrap it up for today. Here we go. This will be a good test of our abilities. Oh, it looks like they're going to get wiped out by the southern hive. Let's go ahead and help them out. This guy's going to try and sell me his lanterns to take into the foglands. <laughs> 2,500 cats for a lantern. I'm going to go ahead and pass. And he's going to keep insisting that I buy it. Let's just go ahead and keep going. He's going to chase me for a little bit and try and sell me his lantern for 2,500 cats, but I'm going, to, I'm going to just go ahead and push on. I do want to get a better crossbow. So maybe I'll pick one up in Black Desert, or maybe I'll pick one up in Henge or Heft. Okay, well, we'll make this our final fight for the day. Let's see how tank face does against these guys.
The edge walker is brutal. Just wait until we get a Meta weapon. And tank pace is gonna be unstoppable. Keep in mind, he's still not proficient with his cleaver. He's a little too slow. So that's why he's getting hit so much. And he's not dealing out enough damage. Or dishing out enough damage. go down here because his chest armor isn't very good compared to his legs. Yeah, he did go down. Not too big of a deal, he's just gonna get right back up. Don't wanna give them my food, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my pack away. And attack. Down again. Let's get right back up and attack. Again. Let's get up, tank face. Come on. His attack is still very, very slow. His defense is still not high enough. So we got a long ways to go before he's ready for this other hive. All right, we defeated this group. Took a couple tries, but we prevailed. Just barely. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thanks for joining me and Kenshi, and I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.